so hello guys and welcome back once again so today we are back with another very good paper of allen score with the questions obviously so guys without further ado starting off today like today's questions the questions i have picked up for today are really good okay so i will take up three questions at a time for this paper because all the questions are really good and worth trying okay so this is the first question guys if you want you may pause the video and try out yourself because i won't be waiting okay i am starting off directly so a z1 b a point lies on the circle whose center is at origin and radius is 4 units so basically this is nothing but they are trying to portray one thing that is mod z1 is equal to 4 that is the standard equation of a circle with center at origin right and z2 be the midpoint of o and z1 where your o is origin okay z to be the midpoint of o and z1 where o is origin so if mod z1 is equal to 4 uh, i guess mod z2 will be equal to 2 because read the question a z1 be a point lies on the circle whose center is at origin and radius 4 units z to be the midpoint of o and z1 where o is at origin okay okay and Uh, we can write one more thing also i guess from midpoint formula only if you check the midpoint of z1 and o right so z1 plus 0 divided by 2 is actually equal to z2 so very simply from there you will get 2z2 is equal to z1 okay uh, okay and now they have told us that we can let omega as equal to e power 2 pi i by 21 so basically uh, this means that there are 20 like this tries to indicate the 21st root of unity or rather there are 21st roots of unity some people also say like that so the target expression that we have i will just go a little down the target expression that we have is sigma r is equal to 1 to 20 mod z1 plus omega power r z2 and this mods whole square this is the target expression okay so guys first thing that i am seeing like uh, i guess no like you won't have any alternatives rather than to square this up right first thing you can do is square this up so squaring you will have sigma r equals to 1 to 20 and within a bracket this thing will be mod z1 square Plus mod z2 square, and I hope everyone knows how to square this. This will be two real part of z1, z2 conjugate, and because of z2 conjugate, this thing will become omega power minus r. Please note. Okay. So after this, this will be like mod z1 and mod z2 squares are constant, right? So r equals to one to twenty will simply give twenty times mod z1 square plus of twenty times mod z2 square. Uh, plus of two times this will be a little tricky. Sigma r equals to one to twenty will actually apply here for real part of z one, z two conjugate and omega powered minus r. Okay, so basically this part is really easy, I guess. Mod z one is four, so twenty into sorry not four sixteen plus twenty into two two is a four plus of two real part of Your minus z1 z2 conjugate. Now I will explain how this came. Okay. Okay. So guys, this is actually really easy. Nothing to be very worried about. Actually, what is happening is z1 z2 conjugate is a constant term, right? When you take out the real part, it will be a constant term. What will change with the sigma is this omega power minus r. Like you have to find out in this bracket which part is actually obeying. r the variable r on the sigma so basically it is only omega power minus r which is obeying so you don't have to look at this at all so basically what will happen is uh, this sigma r equals 1 to 20 omega power minus r i hope everybody of you knows this this will be actually equal to minus 1 and the reason is really simple because cube root of unity right 1 plus omega power 1 plus omega power uh, 1 plus omega power 0 plus omega power 1 plus omega square like that okay so i hope this part is clear guys and obviously see one thing is this is omega power actually r okay i wrote this wrong don't be confused wait sigma r equals to 20 omega power r this summed up to minus 1 this minus came actually because 
when you sum up omega power minus r's this minus 1 will come here okay okay wait actually what happened is wait i just spoke something rubbish whatever you add okay irrespective of the sign omega power r or omega power minus r actually it's all the same it will sum up to minus 1 only no issues okay i don't know what i just spoke please ignore that so this is equal to 320 plus 24 is 80 and z1 z2 so z1 z2 conjugate if we just manipulate this a bit separately this is nothing but i guess 2 mod z2 square because this was your 2z2 right so 2 into 4 which is 8 so 8 2 is a minus 16 so adding this up 4 uh, this is your 400 uh, 400 400 minus 16 so 384 this will be the final answer for this question okay and guys just do the matching of the options i have to scroll a lot of like lot up so i'm not going there okay just do the matching of the options okay so that's it for this question guys now let's move on to the next question okay so here's the next question guys and this question was a really good question based on your functional equations okay type of so i am starting off with this so the they have given us one equation which is this i will write it down maybe sin x cosine y multiplied by your f of 2x plus 2y minus of f of 2x minus 2y this thing is equal to cosine x sine y multiplied by f of 2x plus 2y plus of your f of 2x minus 2y okay this is the functional equation that they have given us okay now listen to me carefully what you will basically do is you will pair up like first you will multiply these brackets into these brackets okay and after that you will pair up f of 2x plus 2y's and bring them to the left hand side so what you will have is f of 2x plus 2y multiplied by sin x cos y minus cos x sin y so sin of x minus y and this thing will be equal to uh, when you like for with these other two brackets also you will do the same shift them to one single side so that will result into f of 2x minus 2y obviously and because this is minus going to the right hand side it will turn into plus so sine of x plus y okay so moving a little bit downward yeah so now i guess we can do one thing let's turn them into fractions f of 2x plus 2y by sine x plus y is equal to f of 2x minus 2y by sine x minus y okay so guys if you put 2x plus 2y as equal to m and your x sorry not x 2x minus 2y as equal to n i am taking two variables so you will get this as f of m whole divided by f sine of m by 2 okay you could do the reverse way also if you want like if you you can take 2x plus 2y to be 2m then your x plus y will be m but i am not going into that so f of m by sine m by 2 is equal to f of n by sine n by 2 now this looks a very like equality equality now uh, an obvious question that will arise is what to do next so guys basically what i came off with let's take this to be a constant capital k because i can't find any method of progressing further okay so if we take this to be capital k your f of m this will turn out to be equal to k sine m by 2 okay so and if you write your f of n also this will turn out to be k sine n by 2 so from here actually we can say f of x will be k sine of x by 2 because if two variables are satisfying that means it is very very correct for that equation right okay so they had given us something that your i guess they had given us a value of something f dash 0 or something let me see once yeah they had given us f dash 0 as equal to half so first thing let's differentiate this f dash x will come out to be 
k by 2 cosine x by 2 now f dash 0 is given to be equal to half which will imply half as equal to k by 2 which will imply that k is equal to 1 so you finally got your f dash x as half cosine x by 2 okay now they had said that we need to find out 4 times f double dash of something I guess. So we have to again differentiate this lot of work. f double dash x would come out to be equal to minus 1 by 4 sin x by 2. No confusions I guess. So f double dash 7 pi by 3. This is nothing but 1 by 4 sin of 7 pi by 6. Now you would wonder where did this minus go. So basically that's because 7 pi by 6 is nothing but pi plus pi by 6. So pi plus pi by 6 is in the third quadrant. That is why the minus multiplied with a minus became plus. So 1 by 4 sine 7 pi by 6. And obviously they had given one another thing also. Which was I guess this thing multiplied by 4. Right. Okay guys not 4. This was multiplied by 32. I just checked. So, if this thing is multiplied by 32, I guess the sum is done. So, this will, I guess, come out to be 32 and this is half. So, 32 by 8. So, your final answer for this particular question will be 4. Okay. Good question. Not bad. Really good manipulative question. Okay. So, guys, I hope you are done with this question now. So, let's proceed to the next question. Okay. So guys, here is the next question. You can look at it, I guess. So starting off with this complex numbers question, they have given that 1 plus of your 2 mod z square is equal to mod z square plus 1 whole square plus 2 times of mod z plus 1 whole square. This is the equation that they have given. Now, uh, I guess all of you know that complex numbers question, like if you have to solve this type of a question, everything depends on the breaking and how you use the properties. So basically what I'm going to do is I will write 2 mod z square as 2z into z conjugate, first thing. Second thing, I will write this as z square plus 1 into z conjugate square plus 1. Right, because 1 conjugate is conjugate obviously, 1 only. And this is a 2z plus 1 into z conjugate plus 1 right so this thing becomes z z conjugate whole square plus of your 2 times of z plus z conjugate upon multiplying okay all of this is arriving upon multiplying plus of your z square plus z conjugate square plus 2 is equal to 0 2 z z conjugate and 1 would be obviously getting cancelled Okay, I did all the manipulation and showed you. So, I guess now no more difficulties. This will become... Okay, wait. Uh, this might be a little difficult to maybe recognize. So, I will try to make you understand. Basically, just see the terms right now. Z, Z conjugate whole square. 2, Z, 2, Z conjugate. Z square, Z conjugate square and a plus 2. So, basically, this will be nothing but see carefully z z conjugate minus 1 whole square okay so you would ask me where did this minus 2 z z conjugate come from so basically that came from nowhere but here this is it so basically z square plus z conjugate square adjusted on both sides plus 1 plus 2 z z conjugate plus 2 z plus 2 z conjugate everything is now adjusted okay no more doubts i guess all the terms have been perfectly adjusted. Basically, if you want to know what extra terms we deleted or added, I did nothing complex. I just did here a minus 2 zz conjugate plus 2 zz conjugate. As simple as that. Nothing else. Okay. Rest of it is exactly similar. Okay. So, guys, if these two sum individually to 0, obviously z plus z conjugate being minus 1 is not possible. So, zz conjugate equal to 1. Or wait, not possible means I said wrong. We will see. Okay, this will also make some cases. Z, Z conjugate is equal to 1. So from here you will get your Z conjugate to be equal to 1 by Z, which is true. This is a theorem. So no productive work from here. It is true, obviously. 
ओके एंड z प्लस जेड कॉन्जुगेट प्लस वन इज इक्वल टू जीरो फ्रॉम दिस थिंग वी विल गेट z प्लस वन बाई जेड कॉन जेड प्लस वन बाई जेड प्लस वन इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो फ्रॉम हियर z स्क्वायर प्लस जेड प्लस वन इज इक्वल टू जीरो और z स्क्वायर प्लस जेड इज इक्वल टू माइनस वन और मॉड z स्क्वायर प्लस मॉड आई मीन मॉड z स्क्वायर प्लस z होल मॉड This thing is equal to one. This is not the modulus of the complex number. Okay, try to understand. Modulus of the, obviously modulus of the complex number also comes out to be one. Like you can treat it otherwise. Okay, whatever you want to treat this, either you can treat that we are putting that modulus which turns negatives to positives, or you can consider it to be the modulus which is finding out the modulus of the complex number. Whatever way you want, you may interpret that. Okay. Generally, in complex numbers, what we do is we interpret it as the modulus of the complex number itself. It's a good practice. Okay, so guys, the question is done, I guess. And uh, in the options, we also had to take one z common out. So mod z into z plus one is equal to one. This will be the final answer for this question, guys. Okay, and uh, I remember the option also for this one. This one, I guess, the option was option number C. For the other two, just check the options. Okay, I didn't go into that. Okay, so guys, the three questions are done for this video, I guess. So I guess this will be the end for today's video. I will bring out the next questions in the next videos, guys. Three questions is, I guess, enough for you to digest. So that's it for today. If you have liked my channel, do like, share, and subscribe. Anything you want to say, any doubts or anything, you may come out in the comment section. and do join my telegram discussion chat because you need some very good guidance for your je prep as je mains is already knocking at the door i hope everybody of you are preparing well and your syllabus is on the verge at least of getting finished okay so that's it for today guys have a good day and thanks for watching